In this video, um, we're going to look at a lot of complex, complex vocabulary, um, and we're really kind of doing something that we've already done. Uh, we're just giving it a new name. So um, if you really decode these words, and I would kind of pause the video and read through these definitions, um, we can see when we decode that it kind of gives us a hint as to the meaning in this like prefix of the word. So mono meaning one. Um, here we have one term. Holly meaning many. So we have um, one term or multiple terms. Um, a term is separated by addition or subtraction. Degree is going to be the highest exponent. Standard form is going to be when we arrange it um, by decreasing order of the exponent. And your leading coefficient is just the coefficient that's in the very front um, when it's in standard form. So the, the coefficient of your variable with the highest exponent. So again, pause if you need to read through these definitions. Um, we can classify polynomials by their degree and by the number of terms. Um, so we've seen linear. Linear means x is to the first power. We've seen that quadratic is x to the second um, and, and so forth. We call it to the third cubic, fourth quartic, quintic. Um, if it's x to the zero power, remember that's a one, um, which we call a constant um, because that's just a number. It's not a variable. Um, and then if we look here on the right, we can classify by number of terms. So again, mono meaning one, so one term, something like that is one term. Um, a binomial is when we have something separated by addition or subtraction. So that is a binomial. Um, trinomial, we would add in a third term. Um, so keep that in mind when we're classifying polynomials. Um, so I'm going to keep that up on the board while we go through kind of the next problem here. Um, so first, uh, we're going to write this in standard form. And we're just rearranging it. So we're looking for that highest exponent. So we have 6x to the third, and then plus 9x squared. Finally, we're going to use our x to the first. And then lastly, we'll do plus 3, which is just our constant. Um, our leading coefficient here is 6, because that's the coefficient in front of the um, x with the highest exponent. It's degree 3. So if we classify it by number of terms, we can look on this side and see that we call this a trinomial. And so its name here is going to be a cubic trinomial um, because this third power here means cubic. So if we wrote the whole name, we would call this a cubic trinomial. Okay. Um, the next section is actually about adding and subtracting polynomials, which we've really already done. Um, so just remember from way back in August, like terms are terms that have the same variable and the same exponent. Um, and that's really all we're doing when we're adding um, polynomials. So again, poly means many. Um, they just may be grouped in a different way. So we haven't really seen um, these parentheses. But remember, this is just addition. So we just add these like normal. Um, and maybe they're in two different groups because they represent two different things. Um, other than that, those parentheses are meaningless because of that addition sign in the middle. Um, so when we combine like terms, we're looking for, first of all, our highest exponent. That way our answer is in standard form. Um, we have 1x squared here. So altogether we have 3x squared. And then we're going to add our x's. So here we're subtracting 1x and we're adding three more x's. So we have a positive 2x. And then finally, we just have one constant of minus 1. In our second example here, now we are subtracting polynomials. And this minus means we're subtracting each one of these terms. So when we like subtract a negative, it's actually going to become a positive. Um, so one way to think of this is we can just distribute this negative. And we know that a negative times a negative is a positive. Positive times negative is a negative. Um, another way to do this is to think of there as being a 1 here, um, and we're really distributing a negative 1. So it's up to you on how you want to think about it. Um, it does say subtracting, so I like to think of it, okay, we're going to subtract 3a to the 4th, and then we're going to subtract a negative 3a. And when we subtract a negative 3a, that becomes a positive, so we're really just adding 3a. And then finally, I'm going to subtract a positive 1. These guys are just going to drop down, and now I can combine like terms. So I'm going to start with my a to the fourth. So I have 1a to the fourth minus 3a to the fourth, or negative 2a to the fourth. Then I'm going to have a positive 1a, and then finally my constant, negative 1. So I'm just combining like terms, and my answer is in standard form. 
So our key ideas, we're just thinking of adding and subtracting just like combining like terms. Um, if there is that minus in the middle, we do have to distribute it. Um, but other than that, we're just combining like terms. Um, so here I have a couple more examples. Um, 3 minus 7 is going to be negative 4x squared. And then if I add together my constants, I get plus 17. Um, again, this is an addition problem. Because this guy has an x squared and this guy doesn't, we cannot go any further. Um, and our final example here, uh, we'll start with our z to the fourth. So we have 20z to the fourth. And then we have minus 8z plus 2z. And then finally, our constant. Again, this is an addition problem and subtraction. In order to add and subtract, we must have like terms. So this is the furthest that we can go. We cannot go any further.